how do you deal with a loud crying baby? Um, it can be really tough for parents, right? So as a preemptive apology, some flying moms and dads have recently started giving out goodie bags to their fellow passengers, maybe a little note, candy, some earplugs. <laughs> But one mom of twins recently wrote an impassioned essay online arguing against this trend. Her article also went viral along with some of these goodie bags. Her name is Cassie. She's joining us now via Skype from New York City. Cassie, welcome to the show. Hi, Cassie. Hi, Hi Cassie. Nice to be here. Thank you. So, Cassie, go, go ahead and tell us why you were impassioned to, to write about, or I should say write against this, this goodie bag trend, if you will. Right. Well, these have been going viral for several years, and I feel like every time I see one, I get more and more upset because it's essentially apologizing in advance for something that hasn't happened, which is your child freaking out. And plenty of times, kids are perfectly well-behaved on flights. And so when you have to think about, oh, I have to bring candy and earplugs for strangers, and then hopefully they'll be nice to me, it makes you feel this sort of shame about being a parent, which is ridiculous because kids are people. They're, they sh should be able to travel the same as everyone else. And uh, we pay for our tickets. You know, uh, plenty of adults are annoying on planes, and they, they don't give yes, us candy are. if they've done yes. something wrong. So I guess I just feel like it sets up this unrealistic expectation that every child who's on a plane is going to be handing out a goodie bag. And I, I just feel like that's a level of pressure for parents that we don't need. Traveling with kids is hard enough by itself. Cassie, I just want to ask you, I know that we know that you had some blowback from your article. So what were some of the things that people were saying that opposed what you wrote? Well, it was a lot of people who just find crying babies annoying and feel like th they should be rewarded for their suffering, which, you know, that's their right. Um, but I have to say, I've talked to so many parents about this topic over the past few years since these things have gone viral, and everyone universally dislikes these goodie bags. It's just, it brings out this <laughs> anger in parents that's sort of hard to explain because it makes you feel guilty for something that you haven't done. And each individual giving out the goodie bag isn't doing anything wrong. I mean, it's a nice gesture on the surface. It's perfectly a polite and kind thing to do. But the cumulative effect of that and the fact that these get so much viral attention, it does set up this expectation that, you know, if you're going to be a good flyer with your kid, you bring these goodie bags with you. And I, I just, I have enough to worry about when I'm going to the airport. I don't need to bring candy for strangers. I yeah. will say this. We've talked enough about it on this show. Anytime you're talking about enclosed spaces, airplanes are such a wonderful example. You have impassioned opinions on both sides. Heck, we had an argument just recently on stage about should we allow cell, cell phones, phones to be used in flight? You were very much it in favor. It was an argument. It was a debate. It was, it was an impassioned debate. debate. Yes. And, and I think depending upon which side of the aisle you sit on, um, you know, I can understand how some people would think the goodie bags are a great idea. I could see how some would think it's bad. You two are parents. What are your thoughts? Well, I, I just happy and, and I commend you for at least raising the topic because anyone that's ever traveled with kids, you do, you get a lot of stares, you get a lot of people well, who are angry and, and upset and, some, and you some, can't control You a can't control baby. it. Some days your kids are going to have a great day and are yeah. going to sit there and quiet and then other days maybe their ears are bothering them or whatever, they're not going to do well with that flight. And, but, and, and that's but, a, but I don't mean to bag, be... I don't like the idea. It's almost like you're looking for a free pass. Like... Like, uh, if my kids act out, I don't want anybody to say anything. And if your kids are not having a good day that day, what you do is, I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can. And what about the adult passenger that's had too much to drink, that's loud, oh. that's just being obnoxious, and you're sitting next to that person? You know, are we supposed to have goodie bags for that person, too? So, <laughs> well, I, but the, I, the one thing I will say is, you know, and, and this is coming from someone that I fly all the time, I think there's a lot more um, recognition and I think in the past, there was probably a lot more of this, keep your child quiet. I, I, you know, you may think that someone is being unruly and you don't necessarily what's, know what's really going on with that person or individual, whether it's a kid, an adult. And I, I don't know, I've been on a few flights recently where things were a bit chaotic and I just felt like all the passengers handled themselves really well. And, and, and there, was a, there was just this nice tolerance and, and I really appreciated that because at the end of the day, I feel like, I guess I don't understand why people on airplanes are so just difficult in general. I mean, it's, and, and what I'm saying, referring to here is if you do have a child that's being, you know, crying, for instance, a baby, I, I, I mean, I haven't seen it where someone else is like, shut your child, like I'm, I'm and, and that's a good thing.